The Akwazesne Cultural Restoration Program was created to help with the ongoing language and cultural revitalization in the community. A two-day conference was recently held with a focus on our traditional ways. Amber Don, Office Manager of the Azadjidawadum Program, says after the Natural Resource Damage Settlement, they made themselves accountable to share the teachings with the community. The Azadjidawadu Program has teachers and apprentices who are learning cultural activities and language, and every year we hold a big conference for the community to see what it is that we're learning, what we're doing, to do hands-on activities, presentations, poster boards, everything. Not only is it important to share culture, knowledge, education, all of that, uh, but part of our natural resource damage settlement was that we would hold ourselves accountable to the community of Akwazasne and that we would make sure to show everyone, welcome everyone to see what it is that we're doing. Many workshops at this year's conference were spoken in Ganyangeha. Gardening and food apprentice Suan Swamp demonstrated healthy ways to store our food. I just think it's important um, to know how we put away our foods. Uh, traditionally, we dry our foods and just use them as we have them, but there's other ways. With our vegetables, we can them, which is um, what we're used to, but it's not always nutritious. Uh, fermenting and dehydrating is a different way that we can look at how we put away our food that's actually more healthy for us, so it's a healthy alternative for a community that's not really explored so far. With funding for the program coming to an end, community members hope the Akwazesne Cultural Restoration Program continues to carry on our culture and traditions through their teachings. Well, I, I would certainly hope that there, there would be future funding for this program. I, in the two years that I've had experience with it, I, I just see uh, phenomenal things happening, you know, and it's a real opportunity for us to hang on to a lot of our traditions and language and culture. And I know that the program funding is coming to, to an end, and I really hope that, you know, uh, our leadership steps up and helps this program continue on because I think it's really vital. From the St. Regis Recreation Center, I'm Kevin Lazor, ATV Gully Wanagale. <laughs> Yo honey, yo honey, yo honey.